here in the room and you're here to do exporting of tech products, you're playing a game of global domination. And if you're going to win at that game, you have to dominate in the largest leading market in the world. And I hate to break it to the Aussie lovers over here, I mean my esteemed colleagues, but that is not the Australian market. American customers, they love buying things. They love to be sold to. So we know 98% of companies don't make it in America, right? So there must be something going on where most Kiwi companies do not make it in Australia. Entering into the US market is hard. It is, there is no doubt about that. However, it is so rewarding. You talk about 8, 90% of the companies don't survive. That's because they don't think big enough. Survival is not the name of the game. Survival is not a growth strat strategy. If you're leaving New Zealand, you want to grow. You're not going to survive. You stay here to survive. But there's a reason why the US is a graveyard of New Zealand companies. Um, at startups, scale-ups, etc. And there's a fundamental reason that you didn't talk about, which is the risk-reward balance is wrong for success in the US. There are companies that are successful, absolutely, but they are the exception. New Zealand uh, is probably a little bit soft at the moment economically. Australia is a little bit more resilient. That's, uh, that's a great growth play, but also just takes risk out as well. My view is that as we evolve as a tech culture and our confidence in our business acumen, we will increasingly strive to take our products to the market that wants them, that's ready for them, that wants to buy them, that has the sophistication, and we just need the courage. So some of us have given it a whirl, and I think increasingly New Zealand tech companies will look at the US as a welcoming place for their products, their business, and their capability. We love the USA. It's a great terminal market, right? But to access the USA, we've already the, the question of capital came up and we got moved on, so we didn't quite get there. But the point is, it's easier to attack the US market, which we love. We'll just say that we're we're talking order. They're saying no to Australia. We're saying yes to the USA. It's very different. We're saying yes to the USA once you have money out of Australia. If you go to Australia and get money there, I trust me, I know there's, there's 10 times as much in Australia and there's 100 times as much as in, in New Zealand. But if you raise a million dollars here, you cannot launch in, in the US. If you raise 10 million in Australia, you can launch in the US. That's a fact. I think there's two things. One, there's the rational argument, the size of the economy, the product market fit, the niche, the networks, all of that. But there's something else as well, there's joy, right? I, it was a revelation to me to work in the US and sell to people who love being sold to. Um, again, Australian, um, it, it's very similar and it's like um, if we didn't sell to Australia, it is literally the same market. It's like saying let's not sell to West Auckland. A, I think that's mean and Australia is like a big, big West Auckland, right? <laughs> so it's, it's not really an export market. Thank you. I'm Thank you very much. Thank you. And thanks again to Swayta. I don't think I've laughed and grimaced so much at the same time. Okay, we see a lot of companies in New Zealand. They do really well in New Zealand. Referral, word of mouth. They think it's easy. They go to Australia because it's close and they get there and suddenly it's crickets because no one knows them because they haven't got a brand message or a narrative and they haven't got to go to market. I think what we heard tonight was, if you're going to grow internationally, have a why, be very clear on the problem you're solving and how you solve it differently and build a plan, whether it's the US or Australia or the UK or United Arab Emirates. Be clear on what you're doing, how you solve the problem, why you're different. Make sure you've got the war chest and the commitment to be in the market and then you're a winner. And I think we also heard play to win. Play to win. Pick the market. Go hard. Kiwi Tech. You can win.